On January the 4th, 1960, in the countryside of northern France, a black Facel Vega veered off the Route Nationale sunk and into a plane tree. The driver? A publisher by the name of Michael Gaymard. The passenger? A philosopher and political activist named Albert Camus, who decided to ride home from New Year's vacation in his publisher's fancy new car instead of on the train with his family. Not wearing a seatbelt, Camus died instantly. A random, meaningless ending to an existence in a random and meaningless world. In his work, The Myth of Sisyphus, Camus writes at length on the futility and brutality of human existence. While Sisyphus is bound to eternally push a stone up a hill, it shall always roll back down. The best one can ever hope to achieve in their life is a zero-sum game of mediocrity in a world that does not care one way or another. If any meaning does exist, it is beyond... Hold on one moment. What? No, I'm doing the whole thing about the futility of life and... Well... Yeah, that actually sounds quite nice. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. I've got to go plant some flowers. This is nice. What was I talking about? Oh, that's right! The myth of Sisyphus. In the myth of Sisyphus, Camus postulates that maybe Sisyphus enjoys pushing that boulder. Sisyphus lives in an absurd existence, just like us on Earth. Perhaps Sisyphus is an absurd man, one who embraces the absurdity and finds meaning in the toil, knowing that freedom of having no meaning to guide you also means you have the freedom to create your own meaning. Animal Crossing is a wonderful example of finding meaning from nothing. The game is mere code and assets comprising a world in which very little happens, and yet players find value in its simplicity. Animal Crossing is not a meaningful world, it is a mere bubble of absurdity with no end goal, no correct way to play, and no consequences. Therefore, engaging in the game is an embracement of absurdity, and rather than being an experience of existential terror, it's one of fun and relaxation. No matter how bad your day is, the dawn will always come, and Isabel will always be there to announce everything that's going on. As Henry David Thoreau wrote in Walden, we must learn to reawaken and keep ourselves awake by an infinite expectation of the dawn, which does not forsake us even in our soundest sleep. I know of no more encouraging fact than the unquestionable ability of a man to elevate his life by a conscious endeavour, to infect the quality of day. That is the highest of arts. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like my voice in this video and want to hear more, I have a channel of my own called Twilight Therapy which I have been handily allowed to plug. I post a lot of my music projects that I work on, as well as talking slash rambling videos about music in many different aspects from song covers to my favourite albums, and soon how I listen to music of many different styles in a way that allows me to appreciate each genre separately. Thanks again for listening, and I hope to see you there.